Okay, so before we could actually make a skin, we're going to need the following programs. Convert CCT is a TML program that converts TMLs into different image files of each dinosaur. GIMP is, or Photoshop, any could be used, is used for the editing. Hex Editor is for putting the skin in the game, and Paint on that is to convert the finished skin into simple file location to put it in TML. So, all we want to do is get the TML from the game. So, just going to show you where to get it. So, you need to go to Jurassic Park. Operation Genesis, then JPOG, then Data, and then Matlibs, and then scroll down till you find the dinos over here. So yeah. Now we go back. So we're going to be skinning T-Rex today. So I picked it Gundeth River B TML. So we're going to put it on top of the convert CCT. Press any keys. I'm going to press Enter for now. And here's Kuritasaur, here's all the skins, so we have Kuritasaur, dead, and Styracosaur, OPA, dead, OPA, and then the Tyrannosaur that will be skinning, OPA, dead, OPA. Alright, so, let's delete all the other skins. Okay, leave the OPA because it will come important later. Now, right clicking your T-Rex or any other skin, click open with GIMP or edit with GIMP. So give it a while. Here's our Tyrannosaur and somehow my layers are not working. So, we're gonna get rid of that. So, in order... So, simple tools, paint, and different modes for the paint. Overlay will come in handy. So, it can make the skin darker or lighter. So, let's switch to white to make it lighter. But we won't be doing that, so... We're gonna click layer and have a new layer. And hopefully this will work. Yep, now it does. Okay, so make a new layer. Now we're going to try to find a skin from the internet. So I'm going to type in CM Studios Tyran Tyrannosaurus Rex. So here's the following pictures, we'll be using a few of them, in this case, this back shot, and this front shot. So we have these on the desktop, uh, over here. So we're going to open up the body, but first we're going to open up the head. Now we're going to click here and get rid of the body and here's the head so we're going to use the free selection tool which is the lasso and now there are various ways you could use this tool you could just click hold down and then go and move the mouse but since my mouse is so janky i mean you know uh what's the word i'm looking for i can't even think of a word um <clears throat> Yeah, forget about it. So, I just simply click a dot per point. So, let's do that for a while. Uh -huh. Yeah, it takes some time to select it. There. So, uh, sorry. Man, my throat is really dry. So, we're going to copy this and paste it into our new layer. 
And now when you paste it, you could, you know, make it transparent or completely invisible. So we're going to make it transparent about 56.7% or any other percentage. And we're going to align it with T-Rex's eyeball. So there are various tools I use. So I use the rotate. So we don't need to rotate it now. The resize which is definitely something I need to use come on work with me alright so there's the resize the shearing which straightens out sort of flat and I think I'm gonna need my rotation they're rotated gonna make it smaller now yeah it takes a lot of time and patience to do this now let's check yeah, the eye is at the point, but I think I should show you the other tools. There's the shearing, I mean the transforming, which morphs and, you know, sort of changes it into different shapes. And the flip, so simply you could flip. So now let's turn this back to 100% so you could see it. And yeah, so it takes time, one by one, sort of. And uh, this kind of thing takes about an hour to finish. Okay, so after some time of editing using the following three pictures, we've came up with the final result. So, and here he is, our T-Rex. So, um, <clears throat> as if you could notice, uh, you could see that I've added a little more texture to it. I added some Dress Park 3 texture, and, um, turned out pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, now it's time for an important step of making a Dress Park skin. So, remember that OPA file, well, this is how it's important. So first you need to make a new layer. And now you need to click on background and click on layer menus and click add alpha layer. And now open up your OPA with GIMP. Yeah. Okay, now copy it and paste in the new layer. Now using the color selection, select the black and cut it out. Now press the background and then cut that out. Delete the OPA layer and there you have it. And now the ridiculous tooth block kind of ugly look will be um, deleted. So now this part is really important. You need to save this skin as a PNG format. If you save it as a BMP format, then when you convert it to a DDS, that uh, tooth block thing will still be visible. So it's best to save it as a PNG. Now save it. Now let's go see our PNG. Okay, so here's our PNG. And don't mind my computer, it always does that. It has it half cut out but yeah here's our PNG now let's convert this into a DDS so watch yeah sorry about that my dog my dog yeah my goodness I think I'm gonna need a new dog no just joking so Open it, open your PNG file with the paint on that. Shut up, Bo! 
Nah, he's impossible. Anyway, if you want to edit anything... Man, I need to get a muscle. <sighs> okay, anyway. If in the paint, paint.net, you could also add in, you know, words, lines, all that. But we won't be doing that. So, we're going to save it as a DDS format so press save and now this screen will show up but this is pretty important in or here in settings it will say file format it's very important to have it set to DXT5 so once you click on that press OK and there's our T-Rex DDS so now last part with hex editor we're gonna right click on it press edit with hex editor let it load yeah never mind about that I just got some new update on hex editor anyway here's our TML decoded so scroll down all the way to the bottom and then you'll see this T-Rex, Tyraco, and Coritosaur and by seeing this you'll probably think that's a Coritosaur is first, Tyracosaur is second, and T-Rex is last but actually it's the opposite T-Rex is first, Tyracosaur is in his usual place <laughs> and Coritosaur is last so scroll up and right click on the screen over here blank space and press find and now you need to uh, go to type, uh, find hex, and then it will say find what. So you need to put in the code 44445320. So simply this is the beginning of the DDS. So find, and here's the dead skin. And here's the live skin, our T-Rex live. So we're going to go back open our T-Rex and now we're gonna con click control A to select all and now we're gonna copy it so control C and then control V paste it and now press save all and there you have it now to test it just put it over and if it goes by smoothly no yeah, man. Yeah, sorry about that intrusion. And there's our skin. Now let's see him in the game. <laughs>